What's up, y'all? So, it's the dog, anytime I record at home, he's got to make noise, get a toy. I don't know why. It's like he knows I'm recording and he's got to make noise. Don't know when that started, but... So, today's video is a combo of two training days. Day one's at the firehouse. We got some front squats in, uh, and then we got a call. So, that's life at the firehouse, trying to get your workout in. Uh, and then it was time for me to leave, so I actually only did front squats on that day. Legs still felt, felt it after that. Uh, and then we'll carry over into the next day's training at the gym. So hope you guys enjoy this. It was really cool. Within the past week, I've had two people in person tell me that they're watching the video. So as many, as few of you there that are getting out there, at least it's good quality views. So if you guys have uh, any things you want to learn, feedback, comments, anything like that, please leave them in the comments. There's very few of them, so I actually do get to read most of them. So uh, appreciate the support and feedback. So let's get to it. So back to the voiceover because the music playing in the background would have led to copyright infringement. So you're going to just get to listen to me talk. I hope you guys don't mind. I try to share some knowledge when I do this stuff. So for those that have followed enough or maybe this is the first time you're viewing this video, uh, it's been about two months, actually just over two months now since I have developed some sort of nerve damage issue in my left quad. So my left quad, if you go off of testing, is really right now back to about 50% of the strength of my right quad. So yes, behold, you can lacrosse ball your muscle for too long um, to lead to some sort of nerve issue that I'm running into. So hopefully, if it's back to half strength in two months, in four months, we'll be back to full strength. I don't know. Um, I'm going to guess it's probably going to be six. It has been very difficult to try to throw. It's very disappointing to throw the numbers I'm throwing right now. Uh, which has been the lack of practice because I don't want to develop bad habits. I still can go out and remember how to do most of it. Uh, but so what you're seeing is some front squats with some slower tempo. Um, and then I tried to want to, man, I just want to get back to the weights I was lifting. So I kind of went a little heavy today. So these first few sets had a about a three count in my head, eccentric. And tried to actually push these a little deep. Um, and then I went to the back view here. This is uh, 245 pounds, 100. 10 kilos, I believe. Yeah, 110. I still think of most of it in kilos. Um, I went to the back view to see the shift. So you can obviously, if you watch the hips, shift from the beginning towards the right side. I'm trying to be conscious of pushing even through both feet. Um, and we just made 20 pound jumps to stay roughly close to 10 kilo jumps throughout uh, today. And it was triples. And if you see these first couple sets, I decided to try to keep that tempo on the way down. And believe it or not, um, like the leg strength is not affecting me day to day, like going up and down stairs anymore per se. But when I try to really put force or power into the quad, um, like these actually, they look a little faster than I expected on video. Uh, but I was attempting to push as hard and as fast as possible. And knowing what I've done in the past, this is well off of my ability um, in terms of exploding out of the bottom in a front squat. So it's showing a lot in my throws and... I kind of do a recap here in just a minute after I finish the last heavy set of front squats. Mentally, very difficult on the day to attack. So I'll go over that here in a second and then we'll have a down set after that and we'll get into the next day. All right, so real talk, that's it. Honestly scared me a little bit. Um, Mentally, getting ready for it. It's tough to get myself in the right mental space for that set. Um, at 3.25 for three. Um, I think it's because I did the math. I was getting a little excited and did the math and off of estimated 1RMs, if I could get that set, which is 147 kilos to where I'm at now, it estimates you at 161 out of 185 kilos was my best back in December. So. Still, it feels a lot further off than that. Um, just the, I think it's the power, the speed and power in the movements. Um, it feels slow. I can definitely feel myself shifting, but I guess it's a good mental win on that one. Um, do everything I can to push this damn quad to get back to life for this season. Uh, I hate having to write this. Essentially, I feel like I'm writing my entire first pro season off um, no, it's mentally tough. I think it's harder to talk about than, than a lot of people, you know, I'm competitive. 
I'm enjoying, I'm still enjoying throwing with the pros. A lot of my, I told some people that, you know, a lot of my friends that I've thrown with over the past over decade have either retired from the sport, gone to masters or gone to the pros. So finally being able to, to move up to throw with those guys again is a different fun than it's been lately. Um, it's not saying anything. I had a ton of fun the past couple of years throwing with some of the guys that I threw with a lot. It's just different. Um, yeah, mentally, it's been very tough. Um, wanting to be top top of my competitiveness coming in, which still isn't <laughs> as funny as it is, still not good enough in my book. I always wanted to get pushed the envelope further and better, but this quad nerve injury, um, I think I'm really at the point. I don't want to go see an orthopedic because I don't know there's a lot they can do for me. Hey, let's get an MRI to tell me it's not working anyways, or hey, let's go do PT where I might try to branch out, see some more PTs and whatnot. Um, that's enough of me ranting. I'm gonna get back to the actual training part, but yeah, it's a mental win. It's a physical win, <laughs> but the competitiveness in me is still frustrated as all get out. So just sharing that it's real. Um, yeah, it's real, Mental, mentally, it's real. So it's funny, I just already did the voiceover and then rewatch my little video I did a couple, I think it was two days ago, I took that video, or three days ago now. And yeah, it's funny I repeated the same stuff. Uh, so here was my downset, first planned downset of 10 at 225, 102 kilos, whatever that be. And my goal was to actually do three downsets. It was going to be a heavy, just volume front squat day. I'm almost glad I didn't because it shot me, it got me pretty good. Um, so then we move on the next day at the gym. This is about the most throwing practice I've done. I brought the gym dog with me. He was excited there. First time I brought him to the gym in a long, long while since the wife works from home. There he is with his big pickle toy, his new one I got him because he's been good at home by himself while the wife's been away. So getting back into some med ball throws. This is a six-pound med ball. Um, this is just kind of part of my prep work, trying to get the body to firing fast, throwing fast, throwing hard. Uh, prep work today was this, some abs and some jumps. And then the main weightlifting stuff, since I don't have really ability to do it at Firehouse, was what the main stuff was today. These are the glute ham halos. I uh, got them from Nick Aston. I uh, hadn't done them in a week, so it, it caught up to me. These were tough on the day. 25-pound uh, plate. I think it was three sets of five or six each direction. Uh, one of the ones I want to work up in over time. Just rips you apart if you haven't done the heavy core work. Uh, so trying to keep that in. And then I had really low seated box jumps. Um, just in my head, you know, what I'm trying to do is challenge this quad from every aspect I can. So here having to push a real long leg drive out of the very low of that squat was actually harder than I expected. I felt very unathletic. So, hey, let's keep doing the stuff you feel unathletic at to make yourself athletic. So this is a typical training day for me at the gym nowadays. I'm only there two to three days a week. Definitely one of my days is hitting heavier Olympic stuff. Uh, so as you see here, I've got about a one and a half inch deficit and we're doing power snatches. Why am I doing the deficit? To once again, try to train that longer push with the legs, trying to teach this left leg to push again. So I did a 10 minute EMOM, and so I put them all in here for the sake of having a little bit of time to talk. A 10 minute EMOM uh, with 85 kilos, which is better than the last time I did this, was about a week and a half ago, uh, based off my schedule. So a week and a half ago, I hit uh, 80 kilos for a 10 minute EMOM. And these as a whole look better. So some of the reps were a little eh. Um, I wasn't super happy with some of them, but compared to how the 80 kilos felt, uh, this moved a lot better, so it makes me happy with that. Um, that low start position, it's not a lot of deficit, but man, does it, it feels like four times the amount that it is. Um, so you see myself, I always have that little bit around in my mid back. It's kind of just how I'm built. I've never fully had a super flatter arch there. Uh, and so then I went into, and, and to keep it lighter on the day and to try to stay a little snappier, um, I went with a beltless clean pull off the deficit, which I did these recently as well, but I went a lot heavier and they almost turned into deadlifts. Um, so I went from 120 to 140 kilos with five kilo jumps for triples. And I took out, I was doing an eccentric. So I'm just trying to get back to being fast and snappy, um, trying to do stuff similar to that. Uh, what's crazy is some of these weights feel kind of tough. And I think like, man, I've cleaned these before. I've cleaned this before. I've cleaned more than this before. So after clean pulls, finished up with last two couple, and that was the 
oh my gosh, inverse curl. And I was kind of talking and coaching one of the guys standing there, a uh, newer guy at the gym, uh, a little bit about him as we were doing them. So that's kind of why maybe you see me talking and uh, kind of talking about what some of the things I'm cueing on and doing this. And I was kind of explaining why I really enjoy this movement with the chains. Uh, realistically on this machine, when you come towards the top, it gets easier. So I want less help at the top um, and more help at the bottom, which mimics exactly what a chain does. And I vary my resistance. I'm kind of talking to him saying, some days I go heavier plates, uh, more plate weight, less chain weight. Some days I do more reps, some days I do less reps. I play around with this a lot and probably do the inverse curl at least two times a week right now, um, trying to get back into doing it. And then at the very end, you can kind of see how pathetic my single leg leg curls are, uh, so, or excuse me, leg extensions, how little weight's moving on that weight stack. There's the right leg, very easy, explosive. And then the left, I really have to try. So uh, appreciate you guys following to this point and being interested to this point. Like I said previously, give me some feedback, some comments, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And we'll keep training. We'll keep getting after it, hopefully getting better down the road as the year goes on.